Hi, I'm Brenda E.M. Uh, if you see my channel, um, you might notice that some time ago that uh, I did an interference experiment. It's just kind of a, a tomography kind of rig to look at interference. And while the, in, the interference could be mathematically derived, I thought it would be fun to go out and get my own. Um, so, the, unfortunately, when I originally shot the video of uh, preparing the, the webcam for it, unfortunately, the video looked really bad. I mean, it was really bad, and I couldn't use it, and so I didn't include it. So, um, I'm trying to improve the experiment, and uh, and I'm still hitting a wall where I want to get some um, frames shot with the rig with um, the web camera um, with no sensor glass. Unfortunately, it's very precarious, and it's, it's very risky to do that. But I thought I would show this video of at least showing how I got there. And so if you have like an old microscope and if you want to hook a, a web camera uh, up to it. And uh, these are, I believe are um, 1280 by uh, 720, I believe, as far as resolution. So they're not quite 4K, but fortunately they're only $10 each on eBay. And I had recently bought two of these. And they're just like USB 1.0 or 1.1, what have you. And they've got a little clip here. They actually have a, a Carl Zeiss and endorsed lens on the front and actually it's multi-coated which is really interesting as a microphone in front i should point out that if you do this that the webcam is probably not ever going to be the same you probably won't get it back together exactly the way it was especially as going as far as i am but some people like people who do astronomy or uh, microscopy might be interested in this kind of thing anyway so there's in the back here there's one little phillips screw and this and i do mean little this is the one of the smallest phillips bits i have from the, these um these little sets and um you're, you're almost at a point here where you really need a real uh like a um a watchmaker screwdriver set and there's this one kind of soft tapping plastic screw the plastic screws you should have a blunt in on them so then then the little cover comes off what do we have here? We can see that this little uh, metal thing is just decorative here. And um, oddly enough, this is actually coated too. They put a little thing in front, uh, a little cover glass and um, or a cover plastic. It's glued in here. And oddly enough, I don't know if I can get a reflection off of it, but uh, which I might not be able to, but there we go. I don't know if you can see the reflection, but oddly enough, this cover glass is even coated. So they cared about what they made. At least a little bit, you know, so that's cool. So inside what we have here is we have a little custom chip, a crystal. We have a little microphone with a little rubber thing around it. Let's take that off, a little rubber thing off. And we have the, the camera lens assembly, which is actually operates like a voice coil. You've got kind of a button thing over here. And of course the PC board and stuff. And a little piece of rubber for some reason. And I think that's to uh, reduce the amount of pressure on the switch or something. Or maybe to keep light out of it. Anyhow, let's take the, uh, the little rubber part out. There are two screws right here. Two black screws. Let's take those out. And these are, once again, um, they're um, flat-ended um, uh, self-tapping screws. And you usually run into those with, for plastic uh, assembly. And uh, I don't know why they have points. Maybe just because it's cheaper not to have a point. I'll take the other one out. And get that out of, out of the way. And now, let's see, the button comes off. Or the button... Um, kind of adapter or button interface so I've, so there's i found two more screws i'll take those out and they uh these these were good little cameras and uh, i have to hand the logitech um another thing about these cameras is um if you um have multiple cameras you're in trouble because as far as i know their drivers look for a specific camera um, so I think they have some kind of flash in here that, um, or some EE prom in here with a, a serial number in each camera for some reason. So, so we can, we have this free right now and, um, we'll just take and push this out and here's the rest of the case. We've got a little clip, maybe this will come in handy, who knows. Yeah. Actually, this is just for part of the metal clip, so it comes out like this. So unfortunately, I don't think this is reusable. I mean, not easily anyhow. What we're left with is a little camera board. Once again, we have a crystal. We have a custom chip, some kind of, uh, looks like a, a transistor. Uh, maybe to turn it on and off. Another chippy over here. 
This one has a marked R. Um, here we have a, a camera lens assembly. And on the back, this is the USB connection for the camera right here. Um, and I, this, maybe they use these wires for other things. And, um, you have some more chips on the back. Actually, there's a good amount of parts on this board. Um, but what I want to do now is I want to take off this, uh, lens assembly. And the bad thing is that this is kind of a, a well-made, uh, lens assembly. And, um, uh, but for my purposes, it can't be on here. So, so there's two screws in, in the back. We have to take those off. And we have to be careful because the, there's a, um, a voice coil um, type motor or, um, or actuator that moves the lens. So let's carefully take the second screw off. Like so. And if we flip it around, we can see that there's two, two solder points right there. And uh, you see, it's still held on. So if you, if you, you know, if you, uh, if you were violent with this, you could tear a trace off the board. So what I want to do instead is get this so we can both see the viewer and I and clean off my soldering tip. And uh, I'm going to try to put a little bit of pressure with my pinky, like so. And also keeping my fingers away from the hot soldering iron and keeping the microphone away from the hot soldering iron just for luck. And I'm going to try to hit both of these at once and release this like so. And the thing is, I need to make sure that my solder is not everywhere, that I'm not uh, blocking traces and shorting things out. And that's on my dwell time. I don't want to be too, too high on this. So, for the moment, let's look at this voice coil assembly. Uh, so the lens, the lens, you could see it move a little bit. Let's see. There we go. And of course, I'm touching it. The lens, as far as I know, it has what appears to be a real glass lens in front. It might not be, but I think it is. But in the back, it appears to ha have um, a plastic lens in the back. And these are coated as well. And... Um, and there's two strips here, which actually, um, um, actually, which feeds into the voice coil. So there's some little snap pins here that um, hold this on. And so I, I, at this point, I'm not, I'm not worried about destruction, so I'm just going to lift them up. Underneath this cap assembly is the lens assembly. And we can see it move just a little bit like this, if I can keep out of the way. It moves just a little bit. If I can keep on the way, it moves just a little bit. And there's a voice coil in here. And um, let's uh, let's be destructive with this. And because uh, once uh, once again, I am not going to put this together. There's a little steel ring here, apparently tin plated. And uh, what else do we have in here? This is also clipped together here. Actually, we can take the. Th There's a little adapter here. Apparently, this this has been adapted here. This might have been uh, done by like one part of the design thing and another here. here. There we go. So. This is destructive, so and I admit it. So we have another little bezel here. And uh, applying some firm destructive um, pressure. This little piece of metal here was a little fan fold spring. Because this isn't the wire, really. We have another little piece of plastic, maybe an insulator some kind and this thing seems to be some in some kind of can we'll pull off the remainder of this and uh, maybe you can see that there's a uh, little faint wires in there and those aren't really wires they're just um, springs so they fabricated like a spring 
Here's another spring here. Maybe that to make sure it goes the other way. And then, let's see. There's probably something heat staked in the way. But you can see that here's the coil right here. So you can see there's a coil here and there's a lens assembly. <laughs> And I would think that there's a magnet in here somewhere, like so. So just like your speaker, you've got a magnet and a voice coil. And so it just, instead of having a speaker cone, you just have a little lens assembly. So what remains, once again, is the circuit board and um, the microphones get in the way, but um, it's not much I can do about that. I feel like if I unsoldered this thing, um, I would probably ruin it and because it might be looking for a certain impedance or something and um, um, You can see that this is the uh, CMOS sensor. It would be like a CCD except for this isn't a CCD um, This is actually a CMOS sensor and oddly enough It's not coded on the front so from the get-go, the, the sensor itself could have been a little bit better. So hypothetically, if you did this without touching the circuit too much, you can probably situate this uh, on, on like um, a little microscope lens or something, like um, an objective lens or something, and use it for a microscope. And you should have to figure out, um, you know, the spacing as far as the focal distance and to make sure it doesn't short it out. Um, and this is what I've been using for my little experiments. And I've been uh, taking um, some masking tape and masking, masking this off and um, then spray painting it. And um, what I want to do is remove this cover glass here. And that's a very tricky, risky proposition. I mean, it's, I'm not going to die if I do it, but uh, the chances are of doing this successfully in my experience have not been too great, especially with this camera, but still on to try again. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, when I pull off the cover glass, it'll probably be part of another video, but, um, anyway, thanks for watching. As you can see, I managed to get the cover glass off.
So moving the clip aside, there's one little screw right here. So let's take that little screw off. 